everybody, welcome back to the episode with, with your man Frank C. Uh, today we're going to be doing another unboxing. This one is, of course, from Frankers by CA. You see about a Canadian flag on there, all sealed up, nice and sealed, um, you know, all that good stuff. So we're going to do an unboxing of this, whatever's in it. All right, so we have, I believe, it's either four or five. Fragrance is in this box, I ordered about a month ago. You know how I usually do. Um, I'll order something and then, um, you know, I just won't get a chance to get to it. But now, today's the day we're gonna get to it. So, let's see what we got. So, today, I think I'm just gonna just pull open like that. All right, let's see. All right, and of course, I don't wanna see exactly what's in it because I like to element of surprise. But this is a different box now. Usually, you gotta kind of take the trusty dusty knife and do it like that but we don't have to have to do that this time so i'm just going to just turn it up like that put it over to the side like that and then i'm going to reach in and see what we got now today we're kind of fancy today because you know today i'm usually all about spraying on skin but today i actually have some uh some testing strips so we're gonna we're gonna do that all right so let's reach in see what's first in the grab box. All right, <laughs> from the house of Paris Corner. Okay, this is a Paris Corner. Mostly Paris Corner. I think it's some uh, four or five Paris Corners in here. From the house of Paris Corner Killer Oud. This is Cabana. Yeah, Paris Corner Killer Oud. This is Cabana. It's supposed to be a interpretation of Beach Hut Man. Um, I never smelled Beach Hut Man, uh, but. Let's see, let's see what this is about. So let's let's like that. All right. So this this is this is the box. It's the box. All right. Coffered system on that. Very nice presentation. You know, Paris Corner, a Middle Eastern house. And it sits right here. Like looks like the cap fell off in transit. So this this is it right here, all right? A beach hut man. Beach hut man is supposed to be like uh, kind of citrusy, some oud in there from, uh, of course, the house of um, Amouage. So let's give her, let's give it a go, all right? Well, what is, what is, what is, do this one skin? Nice sprayer. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm this is good. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this, get this to go tomorrow, actually. Yeah, this is nice. This reminds me a lot. I don't know, maybe it's a drawdown, but this, it, it reminds me a lot of a, um, a scent, a citrus scent from the 70s. Um, Capucci, Capucci put on. That's what it reminds me of. Maybe a little more, uh, a little more luxurious, maybe a little more modern version of Capucci put on. That's nice. For the house of <coughs> Paris Corner, Killer Oud, this is Cabana. All right, what's next? Uh, what is this? All right, from the house of Paris Corner, this is Charuto Mysterious Tobacco. This is supposed to be uh, an interpretation of Carolina Herrera Mystery Tobacco called Mysterious Tobacco. So let's see what this is about. Nice box. So Toruto, I have the um, Tobacco Vini uh, from uh, Churuto, Pandora Scents. Uh, for some reason they, they put Fidel Castro on the box. Uh, I still don't, don't know the reason for that. I thought for uh, Tobacco Vini, I said it thought it made sense because I had tobacco. And well, maybe because this one has tobacco also. <laughs> Mysterious Tobacco. So let, let's, let's see. You know what? I'm, I'm going to spray this one in my hand too. So let, let, let's do two two hand sprays. The rest we'll do on strips. All right. Nice. Coming up already. Hmm. Man, that's good. Nice. It's like a fruitiness. Tobacco. Whew, dried, nice tobacco. Wow. This is good. And, um,. I remember smelling Mysterious Tobacco at the Carolina Herrera store uh, down in DC about two years ago. They had it, it was like 250 a bottle. I, I passed on buying it that day, but this does bring back that same memory. Very nice. For the house of Paris Corner, this is Charuto Mysterious Tobacco, uh, a dupe of Carolina Herrera Mystery Tobacco. 
All right. Let's put us box that up. Man, we're, we're, we're batting a thousand right now, two for two. All right, what's next? All right. Okay, this is another Paris corner, this Amir Cedrat Essence. This is supposed to be a dupe of uh, the infamous uh, Mancera, Mancera Cedrat Boisset. So, let's see. I actually like Cedrat Boisset intense. The new one more than I like the original one. The original one I think was overhyped. I have like a little uh, 10 mil travel spray of the original, just for comparison sakes. But I, I like the full size. I like the, um, the new intense better personally so let's see nice box nice presentation of course paris corner middle eastern house always gonna hit you with the luxuriousness all right that's not a good sign here's my my cap already out of the box let's see what we got here oh look at this oh man so yeah that's one thing you have to deal with with, with the middle eastern house look at this look how they, how they sent it I, I don't i don't like that so here's a sprayer now we gotta put the sprayer together paris corner on top all right and i gotta put the spray together and i guess the cap goes like that there you go. So this is Cedrat Boisse Dupe. Paris Corner Cedrat Essence. So let's let's get a proper touch strip going. All right, we're going to do a spray like that. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Yep. Let's see the comparisons. Got got to put it on skin, but I pick it up. I pick up the, the black current a lot in this one. Oh man, that's good. Bottles falling apart, but so far, this is this, this is a nice scent. For the house of Paris Corner, once again, is Amir Cedrat Essence. All right. Let's go back in here again. Let's go back in the grab box. So that one's nice too. We put that one over there. All right, let's see what's next. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Just shuffling around a little bit. Okay, yeah. Now this one, and now I remember, yep. This is actually uh, a scent from Molinard. Molinard. Patchouli Incense. Molinard. Patchouli Intense. Patchouli Intense. Molinard makes really good uh, fragrances. I have uh, 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 Figue. That's the only Molinard I have. So I want to get into more of the house. So they have a lot of just these uh, kind of essence fragrances. So this is truly intense. All right, from Molinard. Very nice bottle, classy bottle. All right, excellent presentation. This is actually a tested bottle. So let's see what we have. All right, decent sprayer, of course, Molinard. Oh yeah, this is good. Hmm, I'm a fan of patchouli and this is nice. This is really good. Nice, that, mm, that sweet and earthy patchouli. Man, it's really good. Some other stuff in here too, but that patchouli is what I hit off the top. Very nice. Beautiful scent so far. We'll do some more wearing. So the House of Molnar, Molnar Patchouli Intense. All right, let's see what else is in here. I think there's one more. Dig around. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh yes, from the house of uh, Maison Alhambra, this is Bright Peach. Bright Peach, from the house of Maison Alhambra, which is a division of Latafa. Bright Peach, so if you like Bitter Peach, uh, from Tom Ford. Another one that I smelled, smelled that at Nordstrom a while ago, but didn't pull a trigger on that, because that one is another one that's in the 250 range, so we might get like a little travel do some comparisons that this one is is good all right uh, it's my understanding that this one's actually going to be this line from uh, alhambra is going to be um discontinued some copyright stuff that they ran into of course some forward so bright peach let's see all right give it a go there's a test of strip all right nice atomizer I have, for this collection, from my son Alhambra, I, um, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, fuzzy floral peach. Peach is a little sweeter in here, though. Yeah, so, uh, this is really beautiful. Really nice. Really nice scent. Yeah, nice, that, that nice peach in there. It's a nice fuzzy peach. Wow, with some earthy, earthy, earthiness, a little bit of those florals. Mm. 
Oh, Look, these Middle Eastern houses, a lot of times you get a lot more bang for your buck. This is, uh, yeah, this bottle for like $35. I'm when uh, 3.4, this is like 300, 350 from Tom Ford. Can't beat it. If you, can, you get your hands on this, I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, we'll, and we'll, get, we'll do some comparisons down the, down the road. From the house of my son Alhambra, this is.